Welcome back. The retirement of Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton in Virginia's 10th Congressional District means come January, someone new will fill the seat that covers Loudoun, Prince William, and Fauquier counties, among others. It's a seat that Republicans have held before, and they'd like to again. One of those candidates is Mike Clancy, who's up late with me tonight here on the Final Five to talk about that and more. Uh, good to see you. Thanks for coming in tonight. Well, thanks, Jim. It is not every day when you have these open congressional seats and, and you have many people uh, vying and jumping into the race. Uh, why, why do you want to jump into this? Well, my mission uh, in running for Congress is to restore America because we're losing our country to the radical, progressive, destructive agenda of Joe Biden and the Democrats. And, and we see that in the chaos of the southern border, the broken economy, parents fighting with school boards over education. We see it in the anti-Semitism on college campuses and the display of anti-Semitism by congressional Democrats, which is absolutely reprehensible. So enough's enough with that destructive agenda. We need to fight back. We need to restore America and America based on our core constitutional principles. So that's why I'm running for Congress, to restore America for us, for our children, and for future generations. Uh, you are an attorney by trade. You, you work in business as well. You have that, that, that background. When you yes. mentioned about parents and school boards, something that was front and center in Loudoun County, which is a core of this district, and in the last cycle in 2022 when Congresswoman Wexton was up for re-election, she did win re-election, but it was, that was a big issue in the race there. I know that you, would, you, you were uh, early on in the race for that in 2022. Uh, Hung Cow ended up getting the nomination for that. You know, a six-point margin in a, a district like that, it is a tight race. And this is a race that both parties see as a as a uh, an opportunity. Democrats would love to keep it. Republicans would love to flip it. Well, that's exactly right. And education will be another, a hot button issue once again, not just in Loudoun, but across the whole 10th congressional district. And you know, my wife and I are parents of four sons, mm -hmm. and so we I've been in the middle of those school board battles. You know, testifying at the school board, part of the parents' rights movement, and that will be a key issue, and, and it's a key part of my platform to restore America. Uh, as we look at what's happening right now in the Congress, uh, big talk about immigration. We just had the impeachment of uh, DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas mm -hmm. today. Uh, you mentioned about the border is that is that priority one is is the border number one because we hear candidates come in and they look at every race a little bit differently yeah. here yeah so I've been uh, the last two or three months I've been all over the our district and I've talked to hundreds if not over a thousand voters and there are a lot of different issues people focus on but the one dominant issue is absolutely the border and rightfully so because Biden and the Democrats have operated our border as a massive gateway to illegal immigration over 8 million illegal immigrants so far that's astounding. That's the population of Virginia. And that illegal immigration has brought members of terrorist organizations into our country, crime, human trafficking, and fentanyl into our local communities. I live in Loudoun, and we've seen a dramatic increase in fentanyl overdoses in our high schools in Loudoun County. Yeah, we've covered those. Yeah. Right. And the sheriff's office has pointed to the border as a source of that fentanyl. It's Chinese fentanyl coming into Central America and being routed by the cartels into our local communities. So we absolutely must secure the border to protect our children, to protect our families, and to protect our national security. So that is absolutely a high priority in my agenda to restore America. If you were in that seat, uh, what would you have voted on it, it, with, that, with that compromise that came through? Had that come to a vote in the House uh, where you had the uh, Republicans and Democrats in the Senate coming together with a, what they call a bipartisan compromise? What was your take on that? That was a weak bill. I mean, Biden created this crisis. We had a secure border. Biden reversed all the, all the policies of the prior administration. He created an open border. He created a catch and release program, which has led to these 8 million illegal immigrants. So it, it was not a good bill. We need, we, Biden has the ability right now to, re, to restore that border and secure that border, and he just refuses to do it. It's not part of their agenda. I would have voted no on that bill. Uh, as, we, as we look ahead here, I mean, obviously, that's something that's going to be top of mind. We're going to see a trial play out in the Senate for Mayorkas, and, and obviously, <coughs> with a Democratic-controlled Senate, it probably uh, won't go anywhere. But as we go into later this year, uh, there's a lot of things Congress needs to take up that needs to, needs to be addressed, but you have a Republican House and a Democratic Senate, and, and really, there's so many things that will not pass because there doesn't seem to be room for compromise. Is compromise is that is that a is compromise necessary in this job, or is it a matter of, as you perceive it, standing up uh, standing up against the other side? Well, I think that the version of Congress with 435 members, you do have to kind of work together and collaborate and try to get to solutions. But at this point, you know, as you know, 75 percent Americans have, have are are saying this country is going in the wrong direction. We need to. We need to re re redirect this country, and I think that's absolutely imperative that we that the Republicans win what I call the trifecta. We need to win the White House, mm -hmm. take control of the Senate, and have a strong majority in the House so that we can 
move forward an agenda for the American people that will restore America. Well, we're going to see what happens there. Mike Clancy is running for Congress. Mike, what's your website? MikeClancyForCongress.com. And for Twitter, it's Mike Clancy VA Victor Alpha. <laughs> I love that. Good yeah. to see you. Thanks Thank for you. Nice Appreciate it. Thank you. And the final five is back right after this.